Jacob. Here. Alderman Lazaro. Here. Alderman Szymarski. Alderman E. Wesley. Here. Alderman R. Wesley. Alderman Woods. Here. Mayor of Police. Here. I declare a quorum present. Please stand, join in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. First, I need a motion to approve the minutes of January 15, 2015. Do I have a motion? So move. Second. Any questions or corrections? And Alderman Roy Wesley is all right. Okay, and it's all. I don't want it out on the puppet. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Next, do any citizens wish to be heard on matters not listed on the agenda? Yes, sir, if you can go to the podium and state your name and address, and thank you, sir. My name is Wilfrido Trejo, 162 Paramount Drive, Wood, Illinois, 60191. I'm here because uh, I filed a complaint regarding the feeding of wild animals at uh, the address that's feeding him is 163 Paramount Drive. I've taken pictures, I've documented, and uh, initially I filed my first formal complaint back in August. I subsequently filed a second complaint, and nothing has been done about that yet. And it's just created a, a nuisance and a horrible problem with the geese, the raccoons, the skunks, and other animals that feed uh, in that area, in that property, 163 Paramount. She has bird feeders out, and she feeds wild animals. She puts uh, feed on the uh, ground also, and that's why I'm here today. I have pictures and uh, video. Okay. Uh, I don't know, John, if uh, you have any update, I think you're, it's an active file, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, Mr. Forrest. Yes, that's correct, Mr. Manager. Uh, correspondence has been sent to uh, the appropriate party, given her a certain amount of days to comply. The property was reinspected. Uh, unfortunately, it was after the snowfall, so we couldn't really see what the conditions <coughs> were. But we did take some additional photos, and uh, we are moving forward with enforcement on that. Okay. Uh, um, I'd like to state that, yes, yes uh, when, uh, during the snowfall, I was cleaning out there, and I saw her come out and put more uh, food down. Mr. Bond. Yeah, and I, I'm the city attorney, and the uh, the department is also working with us to uh, address that. There's uh, uh, some code provisions that that would be a violation of, so the, the concerns are being addressed. There is a process, and you have to afford them notice, and then they have an opportunity to correct the uh, violation before the city can move forward with that. So that's the stage that we're at right now. Okay, thank you. Is there, do you need the videos or the uh, pictures? Mr. Ford? We have photos on file okay. that our inspectors have taken, but if you want to copy us, I those can, pictures for the file, that would sure. be great. Okay. Yes. Thank you. All right. Thanks. All of you, Eugene West. Yes, is, is bird feeders illegal in the city of Wisconsin? Mr. Forrest, I don't think so. Bird feeders are not illegal in the city. We do have some questions that, uh, again, have to be answered by the city attorney as to whether or not it's legal to install bird feeders on trees that are in the city parkway. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Anyway, yeah, the, the, the parkway is a part of the street right away and it's considered public property and so they're not permitted there. I just thought maybe I had to take mine down to my backyard. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do, yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, any other citizens wish to be heard? All right. I do have uh, one written communique. It's from the Bensonville Wooddale Football Cheerleading Association. They just again want to say a thank you for the generous donations and without our support, they would not be able to provide the youth of our communities the essential tools needed to run a program. Just a thank you letter. Okay. Okay, next up is the movies. 
Movies in the park. Mr. Manager. Mr. Uh, Mermis, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, yeah, you may remember a couple weeks ago, um, the uh, Park District Executive Director had reached out to me and uh, had asked me to uh, query the council on if they'd be willing to participate in a joint Movies in the Park program uh, for the upcoming uh, summer season. Um, I did um, field uh, some questions from the council um, that they had. I have some answers. One of the questions uh, was, will the Park District consider a fourth movie? As originally they were only considering three and the city used to always do four. They indicated that they would. Um, they would also staff that event if uh, we uh, wanted them to. Um, would the Park District be open to alternate dates? They indicated that they would. However, they want to start getting the dates out soon so uh, they can advertise in their material. Um, they asked, uh, the council had asked me about mosquito control. Um, the city has already built in in our contract for spraying of things like Prairie Fest and our movie series as we typically have the movie series but it's, it's in this contract for the movie series. So mosquito um, abatement would be covered by us. Um, those were some of the questions that the council had submitted to me. At this time, they're, they're looking for sponsorship for the four movies. Um, and I have the dates, at least three of the dates, so I would need some what feedback if we want to. What do you mean sponsorship? I'm well, to, 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 to pay for the cost to license the movie Okay. And then they would staff the event. I have one other question Go about ahead, the movie, but I, I think I'll take it uh, offline with Jeff later. But I think we're looking for some type of Yeah, I need, okay. I, I need some direction tonight if we want to do All the right. program. Well, let me ask my question. So my question is, over here, we allow uh, people to bring wine or, or, or beer to see a movie on our property, okay? So are we allowing that to happen over there? Uh, or are they gonna be totally strict about I'll that? I'll let the uh, chief of police talk about alcohol enforcement in the park. Thank you. Go ahead, Chief. Thank you, sir. Uh, I hate to defer, but uh, <laughs> I don't believe the park district will allow open alcohol in their parks. Okay. Um, and it would probably be against our liquor code too. Okay. They do not. Mr. Lazar. Lazar. Thank you. The, uh, the park district will allow beer or wine as long as um, you come in for a permit. Because if you, um, like for instance, the uh, baseball association, if you want to have beer on the premises which is France and Grove, we will give you a permit for that. We meaning when the, I was part of the... Uh, right, I, I remember when I was with, when my kids were in the youth baseball, right, the baseball organization went to the park district. Right. But I know when they had used to have their music in the park, they did not allow it. So I, I'm not sure if they would, resident for resident, I'm not sure that would work. Yeah. That would be a question for the park district, I guess. Mr. Bond. And they would need, because the, the liquor uh, licensing, even if it's a temporary event, still would be need city approval. Do you have anything further? Oh. Yeah. Alderman Jacob. I have a quick question for the city, uh, city manager. Uh, with the mosquito abatement, that, that's not going to be a problem since it's park district property and not city property? Mr. Merman. No, I had spoken to their executive director, and, and it, they're looking to partnership in any way that they can, and it's not going to be an issue. Follow. So you're looking for direction. And looking for direction to it, it wouldn't uh, not to exceed fifteen hundred. I'll make the motion for second. We have a motion and a second for fifteen hundred. Alderman Eugene Wesley and Alderman Jacob second. Any other questions on that? Roll call. Alderman Jacob? Yes. Alderman Catalano? Yes. Alderman Lazaro? Yes. Alderman, Alderman, Alderman E. Wesley? Yes. Alderman R. Wesley? Yes. Alderman Woods? Yes. And that passes. That concludes my report. All right. Thank you. Uh, next, I'd like to 
thank uh, Mr. York and his staff for keeping our roads uh, passable during the blizzard and the police chief for having his office, as I know, was a trying time for both groups as far as uh, the blizzard goes. Our sixth worst event in, I guess, our history, from what I understand. Next, uh, city manager report. Do you have anything? No. Okay. Consent agenda. We have two items on the consent agenda. I'll entertain a motion to approve. I make that motion. I'll second. Any questions or removal? Alderman Woods. I'd like to remove item one. Remove item one. Okay. And and. Alderman Jacob, Alderman Azara, I'm sure you're okay with that, correct? Yeah. Okay. Now I'll entertain a motion to approve item number two, approval of an agreement for the repairs to booster pump 11 in a not to exceed amount of $11,174. Do I have a motion? I make that motion. Second. Any other questions? Roll call. Alderman Catalano? Yes. Alderman Jacob? Yes. Alderman Lazaro? Yes. Alderman E. Wesley? Yes. Alderman R. Wesley? Yes. Alderman Woods? Yes. And that passes. Okay. Next, committee chairman reports. Planning and zoning, Alderman Woods. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, I have uh, two reports, uh, an ordinance uh, proposing a development plan and project for in the designation of Thorndale Corridor Tax Increment Financing Redevelopment Project Area and the adoption of tax increment allocation financing, therefore conveying a joint review board and calling a public hearing in connection therewith. And that is your motion? That is my motion. Second. Uh, I do have one question. Should we have the dates in the motion? Mr. Bond, or is that okay without? Yeah, no, it's okay. It's in the ordinance. Okay. All right. Well, I knew. I just just wanted to make sure. All right. We have a motion and a second. Any questions on that? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, next report is an ordinance granting an amendment addendum to a development agreement between the city of Wooddale and Memory Care LLC. That is my motion. Second. Okay. Any questions on this? Roll call. Alderman Catalano? Yes. Alderman Lazaro? Yes. Alderman Jacob? Yes. Alderman E. Wesley? Yes. Alderman R. Wesley? Yes. Alderman Woods? Yes. And that passes. That is the end of my report, Mayor. Thank you. Public Health and Safety, Alderman Wright. No report. Thank you. Public Works, Alderman Lazar. Thank you, Mayor. I have three. First one is a resolution seeking to approve a utility easement over city property with Commonwealth Edison and Illinois Bell Telephone Company doing business as SBC Ameritech, Illinois for 109 Irving Park Road. That is my motion. Do I have a second. second? Who was second that? Was it? Mr. Tom? Calano. Okay. Any questions on this? Mr. Mermis. <coughs> Both uh, items one and two are around the area of uh, the intersection clock garden area. It's for the for the project. Oh, okay. Any other questions? Roll call. Alderman Catalano? Yes. Alderman Jacob? Yes. Alderman Lazaro? Yes. Alderman E. Wesley? Yes. Alderman R. Wesley? Yes. Alderman Woods? Yes. And that passes. Number two, a resolution seeking to approve an utility easement over city property with Commonwealth Edison, Illinois Bell Telephone Company doing business as SBC Ameritech, Illinois for 308, 318 Wooddale Road. That is my motion. Do I have a second? second? Any questions on this one? Roll call. Alderman Calano? Yes. Alderman Jacob? Yes. Alderman Lazaro? Yes. Alderman E. Wesley? Yes. Alderman R. Wesley? Yes. Alderman Woods? Yes. And that passes. Number three, a resolution seeking to approve 
an agreement between the City of Wooddale and the Illinois Department of Transportation for the intersection safety project on Wooddale Road and Irving Park Road in an amount not to exceed $715,089. That is my motion. Second. Questions? Alderman Eugene Wesley. Is it that some of our debts coming out of the grant money that we received in the- Mr. Murmish. Uh, uh, kind of, a um, okay. little bit of a complex uh, question. Uh, basically, this is for the safety improvement project. Um, we can't proceed unless we pass this agreement. The number of the city's contributions, theoretically through grant funding, um, the $715,000 in the agreement says it's the city's contribution, but that contribution is going to change and be lower. Um, there will be some component of city contribution because remember we had the added water main component okay. and we have the streetscaping component. So that was all lumped into the project now. So, so what is this number would theoretically come down, but we can't proceed until we pass it as this number right now. So go ahead. Do we have any idea what our number is going to be on this? Mr. Murmish. Our number would be somewhere in the vicinity of what we budgeted for in the CIP for the streetscape improvements okay. and for the water main within the project. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions? Roll call. Alderman Catalano? Yes. Alderman Jacob? Yes. Alderman Lazara? Yes. Alderman E. Wesley? Yes. Alderman R. Wesley? Yes. Alderman Woods? Yes. And that passes. And that's the end of my report. Okay. Finance and Administration, Alderman Eugene. No Wesley. report, Mayor. Thank you. Under other, other business, uh, we will go back to uh, item one first. Approval of purchase of license plate reader in a not to exceed amount of $24,095. I need a motion. So move. Second. Okay, first and a second. Do we have any questions? Of course. Alderman Woods. Thank you, Mayor. Just uh, one question. First, I, I've spent quite a bit of time going over this, and I want to thank the Chief because he spent quite a bit of time with me reviewing the operating procedure for the system. Um, I have no complaint with the system. What it, what it does uh, performs a, an excellent police function as far as if, if the only thing it did was download hot plates and, and criminal activity plates and, and stuff like that, I would absolutely have no problem with it. But the fact that it stores information is where I have the problem. So it's not the system. Uh, it, it's just the storage information. And we kind of ran out of ran out of time. I think the biggest uh, contention now uh, would be the uh, amount of time that we store data. I think the chief's maximum time is 90 days. I personally would like to see that lower. I don't know that I'm going to get it there, but just on that principle alone, I personally can't vote for it, and that's the only reason I pulled it off. But I do, I, I do want to say it is a valuable tool for what it does. There's just one aspect, and that's the data, data collection part that we have to be concerned with. And again, I want to thank the chief for all the time he spent with me and help. We did make some changes and came to some agreement on some other verbiage uh, and stuff. Thank you. Thank you. You have a question, Alderman Wesley? Does that mean we can't change it and that we make it less? Or is that a chief? A policy or is that a I mean I'm just asking that. Uh, I, I think some of the discussion is uh, automatic purging of entry of manual plates that are have been approved by a supervisor for inclusion for investigation. Uh, compared to a 30-day deletion of uh, hits that uh, reads that we do while we're out there because uh, uh, certainly uh, some of our crimes aren't noticed or discovered by victims for uh, you might start see a trend emerging over a two or three week period so the general read data we're looking at 30 days uh, manual entry when we have a specific reason we're looking at a certain plate uh, we'd like to keep in there for 90 days uh, pending uh, deletion and then these they would have to resubmit uh, to get it approved to be put put back into the system again if it goes beyond 90 days so 
there's some difference of opinion. The, the 30 days is on the lower end of what a lot of towns are doing. There's some that are doing no time or 24 hours. Um, so to long way get around to your question, we can adjust it. We look at all our policies on a regular basis and change it based on what we experience. Um, so can I do a right. follow up? Yes, go ahead. So my question is, your staff came up with the hold the data for 90 days, am I correct? Chief? We looked at a lot of other policies that are out there and what we do, you know, we have a number of cameras around the station. We have uh, audio and video recordings that take place on our cars. The, those are kept anywhere from 30 to 90 days depending on what type of system it is. The cameras that we have in lockup are usually kept about 30 days. After that, they purge. Um, but sometimes we don't know for two or three weeks that, a, uh, that an attorney is requesting lockup video. And so it would be the same thing with reads is we, we like to have some time, period of time that we have data, but we don't want to hold it forever because we don't have an interest in knowing what someone did two years ago unless there's an active ongoing criminal investigation. Okay. You have a follow up? Alderman Woods. Yeah, just for clarification, I think that my concern is that the, the reader reads all the plates going by and stores them. We had specific conversation on those that you input, which I had concerns. I think you kind of addressed those and we changed some verbiage. So I'm, o I'm okay with that. If there's a legitimate police purpose, those could remain in, those can last in there for two years or five years. I don't mm -hmm. care. It's the collection of all the other plates. Let, let's use the term uh, innocent people or non-criminal people, which is the larger portion of the data, that's, that's my concern. Mm -hmm. I think all the other things you, you address the best you could address, and I don't, I, I don't know how to address the other ones other than I, I, I personally can't vote for that system that collects that much data and holds it that long. Chief? Sure, I was just going to say we, we have a difference of opinion on that, and it's okay. Right. Um, you know, we, we find that sometimes two or three weeks down the road, all of a sudden we realize that a couple of crimes have occurred in a certain area. We like to be able to go back and either look at video from a train station or LPR data to say, well, hey, this car was seen around that area during three of them. It doesn't make them guilty, but it gives us a reason to look further into something. So it's just, it's a difference of opinion, and I respect that. Right. Same here. Any other questions? Roll call. Alderman Catalano. So we're voting to keep it the way it is. Yes. Yes. Alderman Jacob. Yes. Alderman Lazaro. Yes. Alderman E. Wesley. Yes. Alderman R. Wesley. Yes. Alderman Woods. No. And that passes. Okay. Next, under other business, um, do we have a report for the Stormwater Committee? I do. Mayor. Okay, go ahead. I have uh, two motions. The first one was uh, City Council should discuss whether the use of coal tar based sealants should be allowed in the city. So I think they would like to have us put that on um, our agenda. I think Mr. Marmus is making a note of that for a committee. Okay. Okay. <laughs> The second one is uh, the city should gain Metro's cooperation in maintaining or improving drainage in the railroad right-of-ways. Well, I know we've been working on that one, and we finally got them to clean, what was it, last, last year or the year before? That, that only took four years, I think. Mr. Mermis? Yeah, I don't think we, we need to place that on a committee agenda, obviously. We've been working on that for years, similar to our relationship with ComEd. When they get around to it, they get around to it. Um, it's not like we haven't been working on it, so that's ongoing. Right, right. and I, I do uh, um, believe that the uh, Stormwater uh, Committee understands how important that uh, that right of way and that drainage is to the city. Um, I've actually spoke to uh, Senator Tom Cullerton in regards to this, and he says that he does know some people um, at the railroad and that he would discuss this matter with them. So okay. I'm kind of expecting a report back from him, and I'll let, of course, uh, the council know about that, right, as you. well as the Stormwater Committee. Thank you. Thank you. And my report. All right, thank you. O'Hare Noise, Alderman Jacob. 
Yeah, just uh, uh, this is a new committee. Just want to let everybody know uh, we're having meetings on the second Monday of every month at 7 p.m. Basically, it's to communicate with the residents of what's going on with O'Hare Airport. We have people on our committee, uh, one that attends the fair events, uh, so she's giving us updates on that. Uh, one of them goes to the ONCC meeting, so that person will be giving us updates there. Um, we have one person doing political outreach. Uh, Alderman Wesley's on the committee with me. He's on the sound installation board, so he's uh, giving updates on that. And then uh, we have one going to the county meetings. Uh, currently, we have two aldermen and seven residents on the uh, group. And um, last meeting, we had four homeowners come and sit and listen. And we're giving them time to talk at the end of our meetings. So it's a new thing. Um, we're going to be putting something in the newsletter as well as on the website. So lots okay. of things will be happening with it in the upcoming future. We've only had two meetings thus far. All right. Thank you. All right, next, approval list of bills, February 5, 2015, Alderman Wesley. May I make a motion to approve the bills for $489,736.31. That is my motion, ma'am. Do I have a second? Second. Questions? Alderman Roy Wesley. Um, this is for Mr. York. Go ahead. Page 15, Roosters Power Equipment. His cutoff saw replacement mr york yes sir <clears throat> page 15. yeah cutoff saw replacement yes sir yeah what is it a cutoff saw is utilized for our water department to uh take the bad piece of water main and cut through it so it's like a concrete it's like a well, concrete yeah saw? it's kind of like a a big um it's a big circular saw okay. and it's got a diamond blade on it and it cuts through metal you have a follow-up no, that's it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Oh, Eugene Wesley. I have one there. What page? Can't get by day without asking one. That's it. Uh, page four. The $2,000 for comment. Is the, that Mr. Uh, York? Okay, Mr. Six, York, okay. go ahead. Yes, this is uh, the $2,000 that we're paying comment um, to begin the process of uh, a lot, getting us our transformer at the treatment plant that's needed the treatment plant, that transformer that we were, we discussed a couple weeks ago um, that we need. Uh, this is for them to do their engineering. Just like NICOR needs their money up front to do the engineering, this is our payment to them to uh, accelerate that program along. You have a follow-up on that? Other more? No, that's fine. Any other questions? Roll call, please. Uh, Alderman Catalano? Yes. Alderman Jacob? Yes. Alderman Lazaro? Yes. Alderman E. Wesley? Yes. Alderman R. Wesley? Yes. Alderman Woods? Yes. And that passes. Man, can I please? Have you have something? Yes. Yeah. Alderman Eugene Wesley. Could I, could I just have a brief one bullet point is what's the latest for the gas company? Why don't you take that, Mr. York? They were supposed to beat out there in small <laughs> The latest with the gas company is that we received notice from them last um, it was last Thursday that they were going to begin the project on Monday of this past week. Um, there was, they gave us two project dates and two project numbers. One was Monday and one was next Monday, both of them to be completed on the 10th. Also, in that same uh, email that we got from them, there was a notation on both projects that said waiting for a pocket. So I'm going to guess that that means waiting for a hole to open up in their work schedule so we will be reaching out to them again tomorrow uh, we reached out to them on wednesday and had not heard back from them yet so we'll be uh, asking them again tomorrow if we can get a uh, finalized date well because the Go reason ahead. why i ask is that we have building one piece of our equipment we can't start up yet it's been over a year and then the second phase of our building we're paying for the, the heating of that building right now i mean we were right. told that was going to be installed then. I, I don't know if we could take legal. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. No. Bond, go ahead. Uh, well, it, there's really no, it, we're okay. at their mercy a little bit, That's unfortunately. Fine. I know staff has been uh, diligently hounding them, and, and, you know, the squeakiest wheel gets the grease, so hopefully that'll happen quickly. But there's no legal mechanism for us to force their hand or their timeline. Well, 
while they collected all the interest on the money we gave them up front. It is. Okay, that's it. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Any other questions? Okay. We need a motion to adjourn into executive session to review official minutes, probable litigation, land acquisition, and collective bargaining. I make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? We're adjourned.